The boat's layout looks like this. It's multi-level and can sleep up to 46 people. Most of the members on board sleep underneath and the crew sleeps on the upper deck. Right here inside the boat, there is uh, stairs that go from the bunk area to the kitchen in the in the main galley. Maurizio Munoz, a business owner in Gilroy, has been diving for 40 years and has been on the conception about a half a dozen times. He told our Bay Area sister station it would normally take seconds to exit the sleeping quarters and the vessel. One thought in mind and that's that uh, the fire had to have happened so fast that it didn't give any chance to the people who were sleeping. He says you can exit the sleeping quarters using the stairs to the above deck or an escape hatch. And as you can see, the area is well lit and uh, right around this area is uh, where the hatch is located. The crew members who jumped off the conception as it was burning were rescued by another boat passing by. The owners of that rescue boat say the crew members did everything they could to help. The young man was sitting there across from me and he was crying and he he said that they had celebrated three birthdays that night. Muno says the conception was known in the diving community as a top of the line operation. It's shocking to wonder what could have been done to save the lives on board a Labor Day weekend diving trip. I can't remember a single tragic event that comes even close to the loss of uh, more than 30 scuba divers in a single incident. I think this is an event of uh, uh, global proportions.